On a fateful evening on October 27, 2018, a sense of excitement was hanging in the air of the King Power Stadium in Leicester, England. The match between West Ham United and the home team Leicester City Football Club had just ended in an exciting 1-1 draw. But what should have been an evening of joy soon turned into a terrible tragedy. Leicester City's beloved owner, Kun Vishai Srivadana Prabha, climbed aboard his personal helicopter as night fell over the stadium. At the time, he had no idea what fate awaited him and the four other passengers. Vishai Srivadana Prabha was originally born as Vishai Riksraksorn on April 4, 1958. He was a prominent Thai billionaire and the founder, CEO, owner and chairman of King Power, a company specializing in duty-free stores. His company received the royal warrant from King Bhumipal of Thailand in 2009. He was recognized as one of the richest individuals in Thailand, with a reported net worth of about $4.9 billion. Vishai's interest in football grew when he attended the 1997 League Cup final between Leicester City and Middlesbrough. In 2010, as part of the Asian Football Investments Consortium, he and his son Iowat bought English Football League Championship Club Leicester City. Vishai became chairman of the club in 2011, and his son became vice chairman. Under Vishai's leadership, Leicester City achieved remarkable success, winning the Premier League title in the 2015-2016 season. Vishai rewarded the players with generous gifts, including BMW i8 cars to celebrate their achievement. In addition to his involvement in football, Vishai had a rich personal life. He was born into a Thai Chinese family. Vishai was married to Ayaman Srivadana Prabha and together they had four children, Voramas, Apishe, Arunrung, and Ayawat. In 2012, the king of Thailand gave the family the new surname, Srivadana Prabha, which means light of progressive glory. Vishai received an honorary doctorate from the University of Leicester in 2016. Vishai was known for his philanthropy and devotion to Buddhism. He believed in the influence of karma on Leicester City's success and actively supported Buddhist temples and monks. He had a close relationship with Thai monk Phra Prabrahma Galanchan and other monks who regularly blessed the teams and players. Vishai himself was an avid polo player and owner of the VR Polo Club in Bangkok. In recognition of his contributions, Vishai received numerous awards, including the Outstanding Contribution to the Community Award at the Asian Awards in 2019. Vishai often used a helicopter to get to and from matches at the King Power Stadium where Leicester City played. On October 27, the helicopter departed from Fair Oaks Airport in Surrey with the pilot and his girlfriend on board. Before leaving at 1.43 p.m., the helicopter made a stopover at London Heliport to pick up three extra passengers. At 2.58 p.m., the helicopter arrived at the former Leicester City Football Club training ground on Beaver Drive. This is about two kilometers south of the King Power Stadium. All occupants disembarked and proceeded by car to the stadium to watch Leicester City's match against West Ham United. The match between Leicester City and West Ham United started at 6.30 p.m., and the atmosphere in the stadium reached a peak. The match showed the true essence of football, a spectacle full of passion, skill, and resilience. Even though the match ended in a draw, the atmosphere remained fantastic. When the final whistle sounded, Vishai walked to the helicopter platform near the stadium. There, an Augusta Westland AW-169 helicopter was waiting for him. This state-of-the-art aircraft is a twin-engine, multi-purpose helicopter known for its advanced technology, safety features, and versatility. The AW-169 features a sleek and aerodynamic design and delivers impressive performance, making it a popular choice for personal and business use. The AW-169 is equipped with modern avionics and navigation systems making it very stable and maneuverable in flight. The spacious interior provides a comfortable and luxurious travel experience. In addition, the helicopter is known for its low noise levels and advanced safety features that ensure a smooth and safe journey. Besides Vishai, there were four other passengers aboard the helicopter. One of Vishai's regular employees who regularly traveled with him was Kavaporn Pungpar, former beauty queen and employee Nusara Suknamai. She was one of the passengers picked up at the helicopter at the last minute. And then Eric Swaffer, the captain of the helicopter who was known as an experienced pilot. Swaffer had flown for well-known individuals and companies before and had an excellent reputation as a pilot. Finally, Isabella Lekovich, an experienced pilot and the girlfriend of Eric Swaffer, the pilot of the helicopter. As the helicopter prepared to take off, the sound of its rotors echoed through the night. At 8.30 p.m., the helicopter took off from King Power Stadium. 
No one expected this echoing sound to be the very last sound before disaster struck. As the helicopter gained altitude, the unthinkable happened. Within seconds, chaos and panic ensued. Witnesses say they saw the helicopter lose control and spiral to the ground, like a stone on the ground. About 200 meters away from the stadium, it crashed on the ground in Stadium Car Park E. The deafening blast broke the silence of the evening and engulfed the area in flames and thick plumes of smoke. The King Power Stadium, once a symbol of triumph and glory, turned into a place of devastation and sorrow. Sergeant Michael Hooper and PC Stephen Quartermain, both Leicestershire police officers, rushed to the burning wreckage, ignoring their own safety. They braved the extreme heat and flames and tried desperately to rescue the survivors in the helicopter. Unfortunately, they were forced to retreat. Emergency services rushed to the area where flames were clearly visible and then evacuated the area. According to Pete Ripley, Associate Director of Operations East Midlands Ambulance Service, at 8.38 p.m. they received a call about a helicopter accident in the parking lot of King Power Stadium in Leicester. They advised the public to stay away from the area while they dealt with the incident. We have sent a doctor in a car, two paramedics in ambulance cars, a crewed ambulance, and our hazardous area response team, with the first resource arriving within two minutes of the call. We are currently working with our colleagues in Leicestershire Police and Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Services at the scene. At around 8.45 p.m., Leicester City officials issued the first official statement. We are dealing with an incident in the vicinity of the King Power Stadium. Emergency services are aware and dealing. We are assisting Leicestershire Police and the emergency services in dealing with a major incident at King Power Stadium. The club will issue a more detailed statement once further information has been established. By 9.30 p.m., many emergency responders were at the scene of the incident. As the flames went down and the smoke cleared, the full extent of the painful tragedy became increasingly clear. After every home match, it was a tradition for Vishai to leave the stadium in his helicopter. Presenters Jake Humphrey, Owen Hargreaves, Chris Sutton, and John Hartson watched the helicopter take off from the stadium. The sound of the crash was reportedly heard during the television broadcast. Humphreys informed viewers of the crash. According to Humphreys, we've just seen the Leicester City owner's helicopter take off from the center circle here at Leicester City. It's something that is a very regular feature for us. We often sit here after the games and see the helicopter take off, make remarks about owning a football club and flying in a helicopter. However, it suddenly got very serious because the helicopter that took off from here just about five minutes ago whilst we were live on air has crashed. It's crashed in the club car park just outside the window here. We were on air. We heard a commotion. No news on casualties. No news on who was in the helicopter. Nothing's been confirmed. Around 10.40 p.m., Leicester City Football Club released the first statement from the club. We are assisting Leicestershire Police and the emergency services in dealing with a major incident at King Power Stadium. The club will issue a more detailed statement once further information has been established. On the following day, October 28th, Leicestershire police confirmed that everyone aboard the helicopter had perished in the crash and subsequent fire. The names of the five fatalities were listed. Vishai Srivadana Prabha, Kavaporn Pumpar, Nusara Suknamai, Eric Swaffer, and Isabella Rosa Lekowitz. As news of the helicopter crash spread around the world, the football community and Leicester residents came together to mourn. On Tuesday, October 30th, 2018, a condolence register was opened outside King Power Stadium. This place was open every day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., and many people signed the register. On Saturday, November 3rd, the funeral service for Vishai took place in Bangkok, Thailand. The funeral was held at Wat Depsi Wendawas, a Buddhist temple. Family, friends, and hundreds of mourners attended the funeral. The funeral was an elaborate and solemn occasion, with members of Thailand's elite expected to pay tribute to the well-connected billionaire. According to Buddhist tradition, the funeral lasted several days, and in recognition of his status in the country, the funeral received royal sponsorship. In the following days of the Leicester helicopter crash, investigators worked tirelessly to unravel the mystery behind the tragedy. They closely examined the wreckage, analyzed flight data, and interviewed witnesses, all in search of the truth. On November 5, 2018, the helicopter manufacturer issued a bulletin specifically for AW169 helicopters. This provided specific tail rotor control instructions and precautions for all models worldwide. In addition, on November 6, the manufacturer also released a bulletin for the AW189 helicopters, 
as they had the same type of tail rotor control system. The investigation, which lasted more than four years, aimed to determine the cause of the crash and shed light on the circumstances surrounding the incident. According to the official report, the helicopter crash was caused by a pin that had come loose in the tail rotor control mechanism. This defect in the mechanical connection between the pilot's pedals and the helicopter's tail rotor led to a loss of control, causing the helicopter to fly out of control and crash outside the King Power Stadium. The investigation was carried out by the Air Accidents Investigation Branch, which is responsible for investigating aircraft accidents in the UK. Their findings provided crucial insights into the cause of the crash and the contributing factors. The investigation has proved to be technically very complex and has required an extremely thorough and detailed investigation, which has involved the helicopter manufacturer, other specialist organizations, and regulators to fully understand what initiated the failure of the tail rotor duplex bearing, an AAIB spokesperson said. A year after the helicopter crash, the Vishai Srivadana Prabha Memorial Garden was opened. This is a permanent memorial in memory of the victims of the tragic events in October 2018. The garden is located at the King Power Stadium, home of Leicester City. At this memorial location, supporters and visitors can pay their respects and pay tribute to Vishai and the other victims of the helicopter crash. On October 8, 2019, Iowat, the son of Vishai, became the new chairman of Leicester City Football Club. He promised to carry out his father's great vision and dreams after his passing. It is a privilege to become the next chairman of this great club and to lead the Leicester City family into the next chapter of what has already been an extraordinary story, he said. It feels like there is so much more to come. Sergeant Michael Hooper and Constable Stephen Quartermain, who demonstrated their tremendous courage during the King Power helicopter crash, were honored by the Duke of Cambridge. They risked their own lives in an attempt to rescue Leicester City owner Vishai Srivadana Prabha and four others involved in the tragic accident outside the King Power Stadium on the Filbert Way site. During their courageous rescue efforts, Sergeant Hooper and Officer Quartermain faced heat and scorch marks on their faces. Their selfless actions to help those trapped in the wreckage were recognized by Prince William. Both officers were on duty and among the first on the scene after the helicopter lost control and crashed after a match with West Ham United. After receiving their honors, Sergeant Hooper expressed that he and PC Quartermain were simply fulfilling their duty. The incident was very tragic, so it's sad that it's the circumstances in which we've been awarded it. But to be here today is a real honor, Sergeant Hooper said. I'd like to think that what we did was what any police officer would have done in those circumstances, and I think we were just doing our duty, really. Sergeant Hooper and PC Quartermain were previously recognized for their heroic actions on the tragic night at the 2019 National Police Bravery Awards, where they were among the four nominees. On Tuesday, January 25, 2022, the officers were presented with their Queen's Gallantry Medals during a ceremony at Windsor Castle. During the ceremony, Prince William inquired about the support and guidance the officers had received following the tragedy. With the support of Leicestershire Police, PC Quartermain confirmed that they had indeed received help. In addition, he encouraged others who might need help to seek help. If it encourages people to come forward if they have any mental health issues with trauma, if we can step forward and help people in our line of work to come to terms with that sort of thing, then it's worthwhile, he said. We've both continued with our frontline duties throughout the whole thing as well because we've had that support. On April 4, 2022, Vishai Srivadana Prabha's statue was unveiled during a ceremony at the King Power Stadium. Present at the inauguration ceremony were Brendan Rogers, the Leicester City Squad, and former managers Nigel Pearson, Claudio Ranieri, and Craig Shakespeare. The statue was placed outside the King Power Stadium, Leicester City's home stadium. The statue, designed by Thai artist Pinyo Sawan Kiri, shows Vishai in a seated position, dressed in a traditional Thai outfit. He is wearing a Leicester City scarf and has a smile on his face. The bronze statue is about 5 meters tall and stands on a pedestal inscribed, Kun Vishai, the boss. Beneath the statue, which immortalizes Kun Vishai's warm smile in bronze, a short caption inlaid in brass offers a voice to the Leicester City family. It reads, always in our hearts. The statue has become an important landmark for Leicester City fans and a lasting reminder of his contributions to the club and the city. The Leicester helicopter crash in 2018 left a deep impression on the football world. 
The crash reminded us of the fragility of life and the unpredictability of fate. Fishai will forever be associated with the story of Leicester City Football Club and the city where it is based. Thanks for watching this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated on more similar videos. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. Until next time.